Um, my own background is as an engineer, so as an engineer you're always looking to solve problems. And uh, back uh, about 15, 16 years ago, as the internet started arriving on the scene, the mobile phone industry really hadn't addressed or wasn't even aware of all of the things that we do today. And so uh, I, I established a company at the time that allowed the, the big mobile phone companies, AT&T and Verizon and BT, to be able to build for all of these different services, which, uh, as you know today, anywhere you go around the world, even iPads, you can practically do everything, you know. So as, uh, as tele mobile telephony ended up going into developing worlds, the power of it became uh, quite apparent in terms of solving all of these different problems and opening up opportunities like we've seen in terms of communication and commerce in places that would, you'd never expect it. Um, and I guess uh, that experience, because uh, that particular company ended up uh, doing 50, 60 billion transactions a day, became very much like a a backbone for uh, a lot of um, uh, in infrastructure that's used in, a, a, in pretty much everywhere in the world. And when you apply the same approach of scalability and communications that the mobile phone industry to other areas, you obviously open up ways of solving social problems. So over, I guess since that time, uh, as that company developed over the last 10 years or so, probably for the second half of my entrepreneurial career, I started looking at taking that technology, that capacity to solve problems in the areas we were here to talk about, around healthcare, around resources, around um, basically microfinance, all of these areas that can benefit. So I'm a, quite an optimist that a lot of these issues that are here can be ultimately solved. I think that's the definition of an entrepreneur, isn't it? You, you have to be optimistic when everyone else is looking and saying, I can't see that. You're on top of the hill going, look over there, it's fabulous. 